Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying on a few pairs of underwear. I am doing a really fun and exciting video for you guys later on this month and it requires a few specific pairs of underwear. So I'm going to go ahead and try them on today and as you can see from the thumbnail it is very, well almost directly proportionate as to um, why I'm responding to my ex while I'm going ahead to do this. First, I want to say please bear with me with my camera quality. I am getting a brand new camera in a couple of weeks, so soon I'll definitely have higher quality videos for every video. I know some of them I do use a cameraman in a 7D, but um, typically I don't. But soon I'll have a really good camera. We about to have two disclaimers up in here. So first, I want to say as I go through the story, you might think that I'm like mad, I feel a certain type of way, but I honestly, like, honestly, I really do not, and there's a higher and very larger message at the end of this video. You just have to wait to the end. I know it might be a little long, you just have to wait to the end to get the full story, get all the tea, grab your tea, grab a snack, and we're gonna get it popping. Just wait to the end, because there's... A definitely a bigger message to the end of this video because trust and believe I'm good so I have had a lot of requests from people for me to try on more underwear so I was like you know what why not kill two birds with one stone and go ahead and try on some of my new pairs of underwear and go ahead and respond to my ex because honestly um I don't really have anything to say to him. He sent me a message on Facebook, and sorry if he sent me a message on Facebook and I haven't gotten to it yet. Not to sound like, oh, I have so many people following me, blah, 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 but I honestly do get a lot of messages on Facebook, and it's really hard to filter through which ones are, like, actual people that are have questions for me or, like, want to talk to me or actually get to know me and, like, sleepy people. So it's, like, it's really hard to filter through, and then also with the way that Facebook has, like, um, its own separate app. I hated that. Like, why they do that? It has its own separate app, and then it, like filters it through two separate like segments. I can't be bothered with all that. So yeah, I do like I try to get to some messages when I do have time. So sorry if I haven't gotten to your message yet. Just send me another one, and I'll definitely like try to get back to you. But um, my ex just sent me a message on Facebook, and honestly, I don't have anything to say. Whatever he has to say, like I'll take it but I'll just take it and move on I don't really want to have a conversation with him anymore I don't want to like do anything like I'm gonna send him this video like my response to his message is gonna be this video because I mean that's all I have to say like I don't want to say anything to you I don't want to talk to you I honestly accidentally um, like accepted your request because I was just going through accepting people. My Facebook is public, so if you want to be a friend with me on Facebook, definitely send me a friend request. It is down in the description box down below, as always. But yeah, so let's get into um, underwear. So the first pair of underwear that I'm going to be trying on is the Emporio Armani Soft Cotton Stretch Brief. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is what I'm going to be trying on. So this is what the underwear looks like. That's the back, and then that's the front. And I guess I should show it like against me so you can see like how far it goes down like this. And um, I guess I should talk to you guys a little bit about the backstory. Um, with my ex, um, I met him my freshman year of college in New York City, and, um, ooh, perfect scissors. I mean, honestly, from the get, he was pretty clingy. Um, we met on Plenty of Fish, and, um, <laughs> my friend Lucia was, um, in the room when we were, like, we talked that first time on the phone. Let me switch my underwear. But she was like, it's kind of weird that he's, like, kind of making you stay on the phone with him, even though, like, just because he's alone in the car, like, that's a little clingy, and I was like, oh, that's whatever, girl, like, maybe he just wants to talk, whatever, blah, 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 
So fast forward to our first date. We go on our first date, and he immediately after the first date was like, you know what? I want to be exclusive. We should be exclusive. So I was like, you know what? I'm not really talking to anybody else, so why not? So this is honestly, this is winter right before Christmas break. Probably like maybe a week and a half before Christmas break. So we probably saw each other like two, maybe three times tops before I left for like a month and a half for Christmas break, right? And during that month and a half, he was honestly annoying as fuck be honest like I was about to like pay him dust and like just like stop replying to him but he had already told me that he got me like these three Christmas presents so I was like you know what I mean he already got me these pre presents I might as well you know see what they are <laughs> like honestly I probably wouldn't do that today but I was in college and I didn't give a fuck so I was like you know what I'm not talking to anybody else so I might as well just like endure the annoyance and just you know try to hang on until I get back and then collect my presents and then we can just drop it there. Of course I had to give him a present too so my mom got me these white pair of jeans that were too short for me they didn't fit and I was like you know what I could give them to him he can wear them he was a little bit shorter than me so he could wear those those shorts I mean those pants so that was perfect because they were like an $80 pair of jeans so it was like done 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 and done. Um, but it was funny because he, I mean, he was like, he had like gained weight. I mean, that's like not a problem for me, but he like couldn't fit the pants. Like kind of, which kind of sucks, but it was like, whatever. So I get back to um, New York and then I, you know, we collect our presents and then kind of like, honestly, very shortly after that, we like broke up and it was like, he had just like huge breakdown and like he like, like boo hoo cried in my arms like it was the first time anybody's ever done that to me I honestly didn't know what to do I'm like the most awkward person to go through that I tried to comfort him as well as I could but I was like that next morning you need to go he was planning on staying the whole weekend and I was like uh uh boo like you got to go but that isn't even like where the story even begins because this begins like years later when um I had already moved out here to LA um let me go ahead and Trying on my next pair of underwear. We have a Calvin Klein um, cotton stretch, I guess they all are, and then it's the classic fit. So, well, I'm out here in LA. I moved out here like January 8th of, I think it was 2014, right? So, this is 20, dang, this is huge. What size is this? Medium? So, this is how. Um, so I moved out here in January, so then January 1st, 2015, my ex and I broke up. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on, and that night I was like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do, should I move back to New York, or should I stay here in LA, and I just started hitting up people, and he was one of the people that I hit up, because honestly, he had messaged me. And which is why, I know the reason, like, we got, my boyfriend and I got into a fight over this dude because he had messaged me. Mind you, I did not respond to any, near one of these messages. Over the year, he sent me, well, I guess it was like a year and a half. He sent me like 25, 30 messages, and I did not respond to any of them. And then he, um, so I finally responded, and then we kind of started talking, and he was like telling me about, oh, I got this $250,000 inheritance, like I can take care of you. Can we first take a moment, like, what, how are you going to take care of me with $250,000? Like, the way you think you like balling and whatnot, you would go through that within a year, the fuck? Anyways, so he was like, yeah, I'll take care of you, I'll send you these checks, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I was like, I mean, if you're going to send me some money, I mean, I guess, like, I guess I'll entertain this conversation, like, whatever, like, okay. But be real, come on. Do you really think that I thought that you were going to send me any fucking money? Like, you were a non-equation to my, like, decision in moving back to New York, which is why I didn't move back to New York. He just goes on sending these, these messages, and throughout this time, he pretends to be his brother on Facebook. Like, he messaged me, like, as his brother, saying, oh, I have a crush on you. Like, oh, we should get together. Like, oh, did I say his name? I guess I've locked out his name. We'll call him 
Jay. It's like, yeah, Jay is like down to like watch us mess around and then you can switch and go back and forth between the two of us. But my my fiance can't find out. He can't let her know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, mind you, I met this girl. And I was like, oh, that's a sweet girl. And I was like, it's kind of sad that this is happening, like, whatever. Like, but I wasn't going to do anything because I wasn't moving back to New York. So, whatever. So, when it all came to life, just like too many things happened. I was like, this is all bullshit. You lying. So when I called him out, he was like, you know what, I am lying, like, this is just a prank, it was a joke, I was like, yeah, I know, like, obviously, like, I've actually known for a while, I just wanted to see, like, how far you would take this. After that, I kind of just stopped really talking to him, I didn't really respond to any of his messages really anymore, and then all of a sudden, he hit me up and was like, oh, hey, my mom, she is starting this skincare line, and she wants to hire you to be the face of the product, she wants you to model for it. I'm gonna set up um, a time that she can get onto my Facebook account and talk to you because she doesn't have Facebook or email or anything of that sort. So she's gonna get on my Facebook account and then talk to you about this whole situation. So obviously when this happened, I was like, this is some bullshit, this is not real. Like, are you serious? Do you really think that I'm gonna fall for that shit again? But you know what, I was like, maybe this like this really is like a woman who is like trying to start up this whole like skincare line. So I was like, I'll pay it. I'll pay it like two seconds. So I set up a time where I was available to message her. And when she told me like what this was, I was like, you know what, honestly, I won't be moving back to New York, so I won't be available to do this. But if you want, you can send me um, a little sample of your product and I will talk about it on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know what would happen. Maybe you could get like hundreds of views or thousands of views, whatever maybe like that's all I could do for you. So then she was like, oh, I wasn't aware of that. Let me get back to, let me talk to Ray and then get back to you. I, I thought you, like he was so sure that you were moving back. And then like, it was like the tone, like just like switch. It was like a little bitter, like anger tone. I was like, yup, I knew it. It was fake as fuck. So then he hops on my text messages after I sent his mom that, and he sends me this message. You're welcome for having my mom look into you for her company. I just see what kind of selfish person you are. And the real reason why we broke up is pouring out of this friendship so fast, oh, so far, that I really don't want anything to do with you. And my mother would no longer be considering you. And it was like, honestly, I already stopped talking to you when you pretended to be your brother on your Facebook. And when you said your mother was considering me for her bullshit as company, I honestly didn't give a fuck. I honestly just set it that up just so I could tell her, look, I won't be moving because I've been telling you. I thought I was told you too. I won't be moving. I felt like this is like, oh, well, maybe if I give him a quote unquote job, then he'll definitely be moving out here to New York. But it was just like, no, I don't need you. Like, what do you think this is? So, and, he's, and I, the real reason why we broke up is because I never really, really liked you from the beginning. I, I got to know you and I realized I didn't like you. I stayed in it to collect my presents um, at the end of January when I got back to school and then we broke up. And, and you made it easy for me. You had the emotional breakdown. You broke the fuck down. I was like, yes, this is my out. Like, goodbye. I said, you know, I honestly don't believe that that was your mother. And I sent him this meme. And I said, the reason um, this friendship fell apart was the fact that you didn't even want to be my friend in the beginning. He just wanted to supposedly give me money, which he literally said, like, you know, honestly, um, we don't even have to be friends. I just want to give you money because I want to help you out. Like, who the fuck says that? Like, you obviously bullshit, and that's why I was like, you know what, this is no friendship. Like, I don't even want to talk to you because all you're going to talk about is pretending to give me money, and it's like, I'm good. Then I said, that turned me off, and then the lies. 
that turned me off. So now when I'm going through life and have a lot of things to do and on my mind and feel like I could tell you what I couldn't share in public, I really do wish you well in life and all and your endeavors. And I'm super glad your new salon, because he was a hairstylist and he just got hired at a salon. And I said, I'm super glad um, your new salon job is going great, even though he was only working there like two days a week and he was only like assisting somebody. But I was like, you know, I'm so glad it's going great um, for you. And I really wanted to reply to you because I feel like you do deserve the respect of closure. And thank you for being there when I could talk to you. Because right, like I said, after my boyfriend and I broke up, I would, you know, kind of talk to him, confide in him when I didn't have, like, I mean, I just didn't have anybody to talk to. It was, like, fresh. I was, like, because the way my relationship was before, it was just, like, me and him and that's it. And he kind of made sure that that was it. Like, any friend that I had, it had to be friends with him, too. And he said, I didn't, I don't even care what you believe or about you, honestly. So, yeah, I can delete you out of my life with no problem. And I responded, great, thank you smiley face and a like a waving hand emoji like goodbye like I honestly just said that I I never cared like this whole time we were talking I only talked to you because you were there and I thought that we could like build a friendship and I re quickly realized that we couldn't so I moved on and stopped replying to you and then he said, shut the fuck up after I said that because obviously you're mad you think that you can hurt my feelings when obviously I'm I wasn't bothered at all like at all and let's go on to my last pair of underwear we have a polo ralph lauren it is three classic fit cotton long leg boxer briefs so then he responds shut the fuck up go work on your hopeless model dreams are you ever were was a good body remember that okay and what are you <laughs> So I said, LOL, was that supposed to hurt my feelings? If you ever thought my dream was become a model, better yet, if you think becoming a model is a legit dream, then your brain is a little underdeveloped than I thought. But then again, you are a hairstylist, quotations, because you're not even really good at it. <laughs> so have fun aspiring to do celebrities' hair. And oh please, don't be mad because your body looks like shit. My face looks better than yours. I mean, honestly, if I could show you this guy, you would laugh. <laughs> and literally, he wanted, he told me he, he wanted to be a porn star. Like, he just wanted to be plowed by big black guys with huge cocks. Like, literally, that's what he said to me. So then I said, my dick is better than yours, Mr. Wannabe Porn Star. And I'll always be more intelligent than you. The only thing that you really have over me is the fact that you're white. So have fun going through life being mediocre. Anyways, I decided to be nice and respond to you, but you wanted to turn this situation better. So this will be my last message to you. Unlike you, I'm not looking for your attention, so I'm not gonna text you after I say that I'm gonna delete you. So, once again, good luck with all your mediocre endeavors in life. I hope you achieve them, and then some. Hopefully, you will mature, and your brain will develop more over the years. Goodbye, Jay. So, I mean, that was the last thing I said I've ever said to him. And then he goes on to respond. LMAO, I didn't even read that because I'm working on a bachelor's degree. And it's like, no, you weren't. Like, you just you just graduated from hair school and you just started working, trying to work full time in your salon. Like, bitch, stop lying. And then he said, I do hair on the side, goodbye. And it's like, yeah, you probably realize that you sucked and that's why you could only get two days and you could only assist. <laughs> and then he said, you look fucking down syndrome, which didn't make sense. So, I mean, I mean, it makes sense coming from him. And then he said, with your hair care, LMAO, go die. 
And then either did I block him? I think I blocked him or I just didn't respond. So then he, like, hours later, he responds to me on Facebook, come on, all you are is a body, come on. You make hair products for ratchet um, bitches. I work at Orojo, LMAO. And it's like, okay, so anybody that has curly hair is a ratchet bitch now, okay. So I just never responded. And that was the last I heard of him. It's been, honestly, um, almost... Two years. What is this? Thursday, June 4th. This is 2015. So it's been a year and a half. And he sent me a message on Facebook, which I'm going to read right now. So let's see what this motherfucker has to say. Um, again, like I said, I don't care what he has to say. I have nothing to really respond to him. And like I said, I don't want to have any contact with him. So that's why I'm reading it here on camera and then I can just respond to you on camera and then that'll be it. Um, hopefully you watched this far. If not, I don't care either. Like I said, just stick to, stay tuned to the end. There is a moral to the whole reason why I'm talking about this on YouTube today. Dang, so tell me why <laughs> going back to these Facebook messages, 604-2015. And 901-2015, he uh, messaged me saying, you done being a brat? And then um, on 6-15-2016, he messaged me saying, do you still hate me? LOL, I hope not. And then he said, wish you the best. But it's like, I don't hate you. I just don't think about you. I don't care about you. Like, you're just there. Like, like if you didn't message me, I would probably have never thought about you again. So now he just messaged me, hey, I really want to hit you up and apologize for dis disrespecting you. And I honestly do accept his apology, um, but like I said, I don't care. So it's like, thank you for your apology and um, thanks. Like, thanks. The whole point that I really wanted to make with this video, this is the whole my come to Jesus moment that I was saying that you had to wait for. But there are gonna be a lot of people in the world that are gonna bring you down. Whether it's like your friends, your parents, your um, significant others, like whoever it is, just people on the street, people who are your competition, haters online, on social media, whoever it may be, there's gonna be always somebody that is not going to want you to succeed. And you can never, ever, ever, ever let that deter you away from going after your dreams. Like, if you have a dream, you need to go after it. And, I mean, if everything, if you have exhausted all efforts and you still have not even come close to achieving your dream, it makes sense. I mean, I guess at that point, it makes sense to quit. I'm pretty young, so I'm not there yet. Um, I'm just getting started, so... I'm really excited for everything that I have in my future, and like I said, I have a really fun underwear inspired video, and it's going to be really fun, and I'm excited to do it, so I'll definitely have that at the end of the month. Comment down below what you guys think, if you guys have ever been in a situation, if anybody has let you down, just like, pay them dust, like, they don't matter, and just stay you, stay true to who you are, and keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to get there. If you are persistent, you are... Um, actually trying to achieve your goals and you are putting, the, putting in the work, then you're going to see results. So just put in the work and you're going to receive results regardless of what anybody says. And I mean, I've been called a butterface, I mean, more than my two hands can count. Do you really think that, get, like, I care? Like, has that ever stopped me from having a man? No. Has that ever stopped me from booking modeling jobs? No. Has that stopped me from getting over 800,000 views on one video on YouTube? No, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. And you have a good body. I work really hard in the gym um, for myself. And I like to be me. So, like I said, do you, everybody, just do you. Don't worry about what anybody else is thinking about you or doing. Because at the end of the day, they don't affect you. Only you affect you. So, Give this video a thumbs up if you like, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of fun videos planned for you guys coming soon, and until next time, bye.